One could call Flight 7 a blend of spectacle and setback. Recent headlines have been dominated by the Starship explosion, but that's only half the story. Amid the challenges, SpaceX achieved remarkable milestones during this flight, particularly with the performance of its groundbreaking Raptor engines. What exactly did these engines accomplish? The answer is more extraordinary than you might expect, only on today's episode of Great SpaceX. The previous Starship flight concluded with a dramatic and unexpected twist. Although the mission began with promise, B-14 successfully propelled S-33 to its designated altitude for the critical hot staging phase. Unfortunately, things quickly unraveled post-separation. A fuel leak above Starship's tank ignited, creating a visible fire around the flap hinge area. This critical failure prompted the activation of the spacecraft's flight termination system, resulting in a dramatic mid-air explosion. Debris scattered across the Caribbean skies, marking a sobering end to what was otherwise a promising start. Ahead of the flight, SpaceX announced a suite of significant upgrades for Starship V2. These included a 25% increase in propellant capacity, vacuum jacketing for the feed lines, and redesigned fuel feed line system tailored to the Raptor vacuum engines. There was also an advanced propulsion avionics module aimed at optimizing valve control, as well as the addition of sensor data processing. While it's not fair to blame these upgrades for the failure, it's worth noting that introducing new systems often introduces unforeseen variables. Even the most talented engineers cannot anticipate every potential complication, and this flight served as a vivid reminder of that inherent risk prevalent in pushing the boundaries of innovation. Despite the explosion, the performance of B-14 underscored the exceptional capabilities of the Raptor engines and the Super Heavy booster. One of the most remarkable achievements of this mission was the flawless operation of all 33 Raptor engines during liftoff. The engines successfully propelled both stages of the spacecraft, overcoming the added weight of the larger Starship V-2. This was made possible by propulsion system upgrades that delivered record-breaking thrust, a feat so impressive that Elon Musk likened it to lifting a skyscraper off its foundation. The flight also featured a critical moment during the super heavy boost back burn. Although only 12 Raptor engines ignited during this phase, all 13 successfully fired during the landing burn. Just 6 minutes and 54 seconds after liftoff, Booster 14 achieved a remarkable milestone, a precise landing between the two massive metal chopsticks of the Megazilla launch tower. This marked the second time SpaceX successfully captured a rocket booster using its innovative tower system, cementing Megazilla's role as a key element in SpaceX's reusability strategy. One of the most exciting aspects of this mission was the reuse of flight-proven hardware. For the first time, a super heavy booster was equipped with a Raptor engine previously used in a flight test. Engine 314, otherwise known as the Pi engine, had been flown in an earlier mission and was prominently marked for identification. SpaceX's engineers added a touch of humor by decorating the engine with a large drawing of a Pi surrounding the number 314, a playful nod to its nickname. Musk even acknowledged this detail when observant fans noticed it, saying simply, good observation. The reuse of Engine 314 highlights SpaceX's pursuit of full reusability, proving Raptor engines can endure multiple flights, a key to cost-efficient, sustainable space travel. Despite the mission's setback, Flight 7 achieved remarkable milestones, including record-breaking thrust, hardware reuse, and a precision landing. It embodies SpaceX's ethos, embracing risk, learning from failure, and pushing the boundaries of possibility bringing interplanetary travel closer to reality. The Raptor 314 engine has been at the heart of some of SpaceX's most groundbreaking moments. Originally installed on B-12 for Starship's fifth test flight, it played a pivotal role in the first successful capture of a booster by the Mechazilla Tower. During Flight 7, this same engine once again showcased its reliability as it underwent the innovative landing technique for the second time. Speculation arose about whether the engine that failed to ignite during the boost back burn could have been Raptor 314. However, this was not the case. Engine 314 was located on the outer ring of the booster and was primarily responsible for aiding the vehicle's liftoff. While engineers will investigate the engine that did fail, it's worth noting that Raptor 314 performed its role flawlessly during this mission. 
further solidifying its importance in SpaceX's quest for reusable technology. The success of Raptor 314 in this mission represents a significant milestone in SpaceX's development of Starship as a fully reusable spacecraft. Musk has publicly envisioned a future where Starship achieves 10,000 reuses, not just the vehicle itself, but every individual component from heat shields to engines. Achieving this ambitious goal requires pushing the Raptor engines to their physical limits. It's likely that Raptor 314 will see additional test flights as engineers gather data on the boundaries of its reusability. This engine could very well participate in Flight 8, though its inclusion depends on how preparations for the next mission progress. Currently, at Starbase, B-14 has been removed from the launch tower. The new ship for Flight 8, S-34, has already undergone initial testing, while B-15 is steadily nearing completion. The rapid pace of development was highlighted in SpaceX's latest update. The ship and booster for Starship's eighth flight test are built and going through pre-launch testing and preparing to fly as we continue a rapid iterative development process to build a fully and rapidly reusable space transportation system. Elon Musk added on X that Flight 8 could potentially be ready as early as next month. However, given the setbacks of Flight 7 and the ongoing investigation, the likelihood of such a quick turnaround remains uncertain. One of the major complications resulting from the Flight 7 mishap was the fallout from the debris. Although no significant damage has been reported, Starship debris did interfere with the flight paths of several aircraft traversing its descent zone. Due to safety concerns, many commercial flights were either rerouted or diverted to alternative airports, creating logistical challenges. The FAA, which routinely closes airspace for space launches and re-entries, took the additional step of establishing a debris response area during this incident. This restricted zone ensures the safety of aircraft should a space vehicle experience an anomaly outside the primary closure area. The FAA has since launched an investigation into the Flight 7 mishap. It has directed SpaceX to conduct a formal review to determine the causes behind Starship's breakup. On January 16th, the FAA stated the FAA is requiring SpaceX to investigate the mishap that led to the loss of the Starship vehicle during launch operations on the 16th. There have been no reports of public injuries, and the FAA is collaborating with SpaceX and relevant authorities to verify reports of potential public property damage in Turks and Caicos. A subsequent tweet on the 18th reaffirmed the agency's commitment to safety, stating the FAA will oversee a SpaceX-led investigation into the mishap that occurred during the Starship January 16th mission from Boca Chica, Texas. During the event, the FAA activated a debris response area to safely reroute or ground stop aircraft. If SpaceX can avoid a repeat of the Flight 7 failure, one of its next goals will be to conduct a critical test of the ship's vacuum engine in space. Successfully relighting this engine is vital for several reasons. First, to begin the landing process, Starship must exit orbit. The vacuum engine will act as a steering mechanism, guiding the spacecraft back into Earth's atmosphere. Second, relighting the engine will demonstrate its capability to operate in the harsh environment of space, a necessity for Starship's goal of becoming a multi-planetary vehicle. This capability is vital for NASA's Artemis program, where the Starship HLS must operate in space for extended durations. During Artemis, Starship will spend over six and a half days in a near-rectilinear halo orbit before relighting its engines to land astronauts on the moon. Flight 7 was meant to test this and other upgrades, like the metal heat shield, redesigned flaps, and a PEZ dispenser for Starlink satellites, but the mission's failure delayed these demonstrations. Despite these setbacks, SpaceX's iterative approach turns challenges into progress. Each flight brings humanity closer to a fully reusable space transportation system, paving the way for future exploration. Indeed, the Raptor engines used during Flight 7 demonstrated truly groundbreaking power, setting a new standard for rocket propulsion. Witnesses to the rocket's return described the sheer force of its sonic boom as unforgettable. Even with only 13 engines firing, later reduced to three during landing, the intensity was overwhelming. Vibrations from the return carried for miles, leaving no doubt about the raw power of this technology. This remarkable performance is made possible by the Raptor's ingenious engineering. It employs a full-flow staged combustion cycle, an advanced twin-shaft design that uses oxidizer-rich and fuel-rich preburners. These preburners ensure that the complete supply of both propellants flows through the turbines, enabling cooler turbine operation and reduced pressure due to the increased mass flow. 
This design not only increases engine reliability, but also extends its lifespan, offering a balance of power and durability unmatched in the aerospace industry. The Raptor achieves an extraordinary 99% theoretical combustion efficiency, making it the most efficient engine line ever created. Adding to its innovation, the Raptor uses subcooled cryogenic propellants, liquid oxygen and methane, collectively known as methalox. These propellants are cooled to near-freezing temperatures, increasing their density and optimizing both mass and performance. Methalox burns cleanly, minimizing carbon buildup within the engine and ensuring smoother operations. Beyond its operational advantages, methane can be sourced directly from Mars, aligning perfectly with Musk's long-term vision of making life multiplanetary. With each iteration, the Raptor continues to raise the bar. Up until Starship's seventh flight, SpaceX employed the Raptor 2, an upgraded version of the original prototype. This version could produce an impressive 230 tons of thrust at sea level while boasting a more compact design achieved by eliminating numerous external joints and pipes. SpaceX is currently testing the Raptor 3, a more advanced evolution of the engine with a simplified design, including an integrated cooling system in place of a heat shield. Early tests show thrust levels reaching 280 tons, with Musk suggesting it could hit 300 tons and future iterations potentially achieving 330. Such advancements would give Starship an unprecedented 10,000 tons of thrust at sea level, a critical milestone for Musk's vision of Starship V3. The Raptor engine is a feat of engineering requiring precise control of every parameter to achieve its groundbreaking performance. A decade ago, the idea of a skyscraper-sized rocket landing intact seemed impossible. But SpaceX has turned this vision into reality. Rocket science is the ultimate test of perseverance, demanding relentless experimentation, constant improvement, and the courage to turn failure into opportunity. SpaceX embodies the spirit, embracing every challenge as a stepping stone toward revolutionizing space travel and unlocking humanity's potential to explore new worlds. The Raptor engine stands as a shining example of what innovation, determination, and vision can achieve. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and remember, the stars are not out of reach. Keep looking up.